Ghost Protocol on and my shit, low profile, like a thief in the night. Or a sneaky left in an alley fight. Mm. I will regulate. See it then be it then I meditate. While you fools, just mediate for a later date. Don't procrastinate. Conceive to achieve how you elevate. On action, don't hesitate. Keep your faith. Remember God is great. Remind the devil of his fate. Punctuation inside that line with quote signs for emphasis. Run a kid. Link with Sonny on the hands free. Politic and money making strategies. Hippocratic democratic policies that never bother me. I say drama fee. No political apologies. Peep the news. The men crazy. Talk by scholars being lazy. Yeah. These days, this shit drive a mother crazy. So I don't know if maybe you remember this from my post the other day. I mentioned PIP, Pride in Parking. This is how you do it, son. Look at that, okay? I'm actually overhanging the curb. The curb. I'm overhanging the curb. That is a perfect parking job, okay? Check out this line, okay? <laughs> Look at that. I didn't come out and check it and make sure it was like this. No, that's natural. That's just what I do, okay? <laughs> oh man, I'm like right in there. Perfect. Okay, so let's talk about the back. Look at that parking job. Oh my god, like I'm a I'm a I'm like a kung fu master when it comes to parking. I am the master. I just wanted to give you guys a little update of what I'm doing. Um yesterday I had a interesting day. I picked up hitchhiker and um the hitchhiker happened to be going to the same place that I was going to, Taos, New Mexico. So I was on my way out of Denver. Um, I was really in Colorado Springs. I was on my way out of Colorado Springs and I saw a guy standing on the, or sitting on the side of the road, um, right on the on-ramp to a, um, the expressway, or the freeway to come down to Taos. And um, I don't know, I just got a, a good feeling about the guy. He seemed cool. From the one second impression that I got as I drove by so I decided to pick him up pick him up and um, the guy was the coolest guy ever I mean it's funny me and him saw the world and the way things work in nearly exactly the same manner um, we just had a great discussion uh, it was about a four and a half five hour drive down to Taos and um, had a great discussion the whole way. I was so glad that I picked him up. It makes the ride nice when you got a passenger. It's, it's really cool. Um, the guy turned out to be 24 years old, almost 25, and he'd been backpacking for years. Um, he'd been backpacking, I believe he said six years or seven years. And, um, you know, so that's what he does. He was, you know, this was just another adventure for him. Um, the... Uh, his name was Dylan. Super cool guy. Hey, Dylan. Um, you know, he, he was um, kind of doing the same thing I'm doing, except for with no vehicle. I mean, imagine that. Going town to town with no vehicle at all. And uh, so I got plenty of room in this thing. And um, I offered him a place to stay for the night as well. And he slept on the floor here. He had uh, backpacking gear. He had a, a ground mat, um, a really kick-ass um, sleeping bag. But... We kicked the heater on, warmed it up in here. It was 17 degrees last night. It was cold. Um, it was very cold, but it was nice in here. I got to tell you, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier, but this bed, this foam uh, mattress, holy cow. I don't know. It just didn't occur to me er earlier. I just thought, hey, I'm roughing it, you know? It'll straighten my back out. And That foam is so nice. It makes it twice as warm as well because... It stays warm. And uh, so props to uh, RV Interiors. Thanks for the bed. That, that's It's really killer, and I love it. Um, but, yeah, so um, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i probably be in Taos for a couple days. I want to check out Earthship Biotexture, or as some call it, Earthship Global. And I'm going to head there now. Although it is 11.15 on Sunday morning. And I doubt there's going to be much activity on a Sunday. Um, so I may need to just kind of like drive through, check it out, come back tomorrow when they're really open. Um, but I'm doing research for houses that I'm going to build um, for my own future. And I wanted to see this uh, community of Earthships. It sounds amazing. So 
I am going to head down there right about now and uh, go check that out. Yeah. So I just had some breakfast and uh, I'm feeling good. The trip is going awesome. My truck is really coming together. I may have to stop and pick up some Christmas lights and decorate the interior of my truck a little bit. It would be cool to have a bunch of Christmas lights strung up. But uh, I, got the, I got the idea from Travis that I used to work with. Travis is my boy. <laughs> um, anyways, I'll uh, get on the road. Bye. I have just crash landed on the truck stop on the moon. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, I'm here in uh, Tatooine. Uh, you know, it's a little colony in um, the movie Star Wars. I'm sure you're aware of it. Um, <laughs> I'm here at the Earthship Biotexture, and I'm going to go uh, take a little walk around. Yeah. <laughs> it's so awesome seeing it in person after seeing it on YouTube for so many years. I'm going to drive up and kind of get a better look. It says, come on in. We're open. This is like, it looks like someone's house. <laughs> So the way it works here at Earthship Biotexture is that this one structure behind me, this one, it is a home, uh, an Earthship home, but has been outfitted more like a museum, kind of gallery kind of thing. So that's the only building that you can tour, and it's $8, I believe, and I'm going to bypass that. Um, I would rather see all the other houses in the community, but they're private homes and you can't go in there. There's people living in there. So, um, but there are homes here for sale. You could buy one ready to go. You can finance one. He said, it's the only place in the world you can finance a earth ship. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Too bad. I'm totally against financing. Hmm. How about that? How about that? Well, I won't be going through any Earthship homes today, but I might look at a few. Earthship Biotexture was a bit of a bust because um, they've kind of turned it into a tourist attraction. $8 for a guided tour. And it's just a neighborhood, you know? It's like people live there. So there were signs all over that said, no trespassing, private property. I didn't really want to drive through there. I just felt uncomfortable about it. And I want to be respectful while I'm traveling. So I didn't go in. Um, I don't know. There's two options. There's a two, uh, three-week internship program which is five hundred dollars you get to stay in an earth ship but you're working for three weeks you're giving them labor uh nine to four nine to five every day monday through friday weekends off and uh it's five hundred dollars that you have to pay and you're not really learning you're just doing whatever jobs that you have you know you have to do there's a lot of projects to work on but you're really just trading manual labor for um well, you're paying $500, so I don't know what you're... It's still a uh, kind of a neat thing. Um, 
you do you will get to learn through work um what it's all about how to build those things so um but i'm sure you won't attain all the knowledge that you need to build one the other thing is a $2,500 month-long class on building Earthships. Uh, I'm definitely not doing that. Um, I'm a smart guy. I can figure it out on my own. And uh, there's books and all that kind of stuff on it. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll come back and try to tour it a little bit better. But I may be able to buy land out here, too. He said it's really cheap. So, that's another option. All righty. I'm going to go back. And find a place called Ojos Calientes. It's a natural spring. And I want to go um, soak in a nice natural, uh, naturally fed uh, spring. And um, it's cool. It's like, it's really natural. So I'm going to go find that place and go um, soak for a while. It sounds very relaxing. This place is beautiful. New Mexico, pretty freaking beautiful, man. I'm having just like uh, euphoric moments just out of nowhere. <laughs> it's great. I love it out here. It's so nice. Look at that view. You ready to go? Yeah. Here, let me give you my business card. Mm. This mm. is uh, my YouTube channel. All I've right. been making videos and hey. all sorts of stuff along the way. <laughs> it's been a pleasure talking to you. You man. too, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> nice to meet You're you. You're a good guy, man. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this You're a good guy, too. This Hi. is my yeah. What is your name? Paul. 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 Nice yes, Paul. Paul. I have just been meeting the best people along the way, like the cream of the human crop, but... I just met a, a very, very nice couple outside of the um, Ojo Calientes um, natural spring that is here in, uh, I'm not sure what city, but it's just outside of Taos. Um, but I told her about my journey and what I was doing, and um, she said that she was going to gift something to me. And she went to her car and she came back and um, brought back this. This is a um, preserved jar of choke cherry syrup um she said what the name was <laughs> i gotta hold on i'll be right back okay i'm back and i have the pronunciation right copulin is what this stuff is it is choke cherry syrup um she said you can use it for all sorts of things so like flavor sparkling water you could drizzle it on a sandwich and uh it sounds awesome she, it sounds like it's like really rare she's like you don't find this um if you were um uh, it'd be probably pretty pricey and it just sounds awesome so uh that the hike hitcher the, <laughs> that the um hitchhiker that i um you know really spent some time with and um got to know a little bit uh yesterday and today um I just I just been meeting awesome people and it's been going great out here. And I've been having those like moments, like those yes aha moments, you know, those I don't know, if you don't have those on a regular basis, I think maybe you gotta switch it up a little bit. So, anyways, uh I'm going into the hot springs in just a few minutes and I'm going to soak and relax and just let it all melt away. Do you know what I want to do? What? Strut. In a city called D.C. There was this little kid who used to call Big Young who was like, he grew up in the streets, but he went to good schools. So, you know, he stayed out of trouble. He used to watch shows like The Wonder Years. He used to watch shows like Cosby show, but he also watched like shows like Sanford and Son, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, 
he was just like always dreaming. He never knew like the the eighteen wasn't real. That like things in movies weren't real. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Murk. And he just like stayed out of trouble somehow and made it out of that shit. Yeah. Ghost protocol on end my shit low profile like a thief in the night or a sneaky left in an alley fight. Mm. I will regulate. See it then be it then I meditate. Why you fools? Just mediate for a later date. Don't procrastinate. Conceive to achieve how you elevate. On action, don't hesitate. Keep your faith. Remember God is great. Remind the devil of his fate. Punctuation inside that line with quote signs for emphasis. Mm. Run it, kid. Link with Sonny on the hands free. Politic and money making strategies. Hippocratic democratic policies that never bother me. I say drama fee. No political apologies. Peep the news, the men crazy. Talk by scholars, we no lazy. Yeah, these days, this shit drive a motherfucker crazy. I could go harden, pardon. Sometimes I want to go darden. But they bombed him, lit him on fire, and they mobbed him. Up in the hills, he thought he was safe. Up in the snow clouds, they blue clouds, they manifesto, veto, the manifesto. Crime solved them. Yeah, yeah, that shit is self-explanatory. No, no gust, no glory. One in the glove, that's mandatory. Mm. M-O-B, that's G-code. Step to me wrong, I go loco. Blowing in dough out my window of a two-dough Lambo with a GoPro. Mounting on the side like a suicide. Oh, what? Kamikaze yeah. shit like Rambo. Oh. Met Tonto. High Ooh. ho, silver, Geronimo. Yeah, no, shit. I'm on my pock shit. Me against the world. These are the times. All eyes on me. Like the wonder years. It's length to ten. Play it again. Bill and Ted. Excellent. Party on. Yeah, excellent. Party on. Excellent. Extend the fingers. Two of these cops trying to chase my place. Nigga making off in the major way. Getting money in like every state. Now I'm in New Mexico. Coast to coast because I love the dough. Treat my queen and my seeds to the finer things. Yeah. Chilling in a patio at Ojo Caliente. It's free go. New oh, Mexico. Go. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Edit it for my kids so my great 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 grandkids can rewind this and listen to this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Think about high yield investments with some venture cap with a chick with some Louboutins and the red bottoms. Yeah, you know I had to get them ones. It's cliche. So I had to buy the oyster perpetual day and day. Just to communicate, baby, I pocket straight. Don't worry about shit. Lay, lay low, chill. This just a day in the life of how a brother feel. Mm. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Class division, baby. Fucking <sighs> <sighs> life we live. DC? You want to hear about DC? Wow, <laughs> oh, man. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs>